In this video, I'm gonna share my coin tips and methods so you can always have a large coin stack without spending any money on the game. The first thing that we're gonna talk about in this video is gonna be the safe methods, okay? These methods right here will always make you coins. You're always gonna be able to build up your coin stack by doing these few methods. So let's go through them first. So the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is going to be team builders, okay? I am gonna tell you which ones you should be doing and which ones you should avoid. So team builder ones have kind of become obsolete. I honestly, I do not think they sell enough to be able to build them. There is still profit in here, but the cards in this set take forever to sell. Team builder twos is where it's at. You're gonna need 185, 383s, and then 480 to 82s. You can build any of these, but I typically buy players on good theme teams like the Cowboys, the Raiders, the 49ers. Those teams usually have a really good theme team that most people are trying to build. So go ahead. You can build this set right here for about like anywhere between, I wanna say like 13 and 14,000 coins, depending on how picky you are in the auction house. All right, and you can sell these cards for typically around 20,000. They do take a little bit of time to sell, but they do eventually sell for both like that 20,000 coin mark. You might have to list them like overnight for like eight hours, but they do, they do sell. Okay, so let's go ahead, build one here. And I think there's like a few 49ers currently on the block. Let me quickly show you. It's always safe. It's not a ton of coins, but it still adds up. As you can see on my screen, the last time it sold was yesterday for 21,000. I'm gonna list it up for 19,900. All right, and then overnight, I'm gonna put it up for like eight hours and eventually it will sell for about 20,000. I'll make a 5,000 coin profit, not too bad. Next up, we have my favorite duo is gonna be the team of the week to ultimate legends, all right? so. You start with the team of the week here. You need 183 and then 380s to 82s for an 85 to 92 overall player. If you get an 85 from this pack, you're gonna throw it into the Ultimate Legend 88 player exchange. So you're gonna scroll over, you're gonna put your 85s, all your 85s that you get from there into this exchange set right over here. Once you add all your 85s to the set, you just need to get 183 to 84, and you can sell this 88 overall player for about 17 to 18,000 coins. So there's a little bit of profit. However, if you get an 89 or a 92 from the team of the week set, you can sell those cards on the block and make profit because it only costs you about 5,000 coins to build each of those sets. And an 89 sells for 13,000, and a 92 sells for about 35,000. Here's an example of what you can get out of the team of the week pack. So it's either gonna be an 85, 89, or a 92. We got an 85, so that's gonna go directly into the Ultimate Legend set. And then if I get an 89, I'm just gonna list it on the block. More than likely, you're gonna get a lot of 85s here. The safest one out of all these methods is gonna be the classic get a player pack. I know it's boring, but it, it is effective, especially now that you can get up to an 89 overall player in this pack. Very simple, all you need to do is open this pack for 500 coins, pretty much sell everything you get. But again, you can turn some of these cards that you get in this pack into the team builder method, into the team of the week method, or the ultimate legend method. Here's a quick breakdown of the get a player pack and how much I put into it. I put in 50,000 coins and I got back 120,000 coins based off of what we got, a bunch of 87s. Um, I got a platinum player, a 13,000 coin platinum player, which is great. A bunch of power-ups. We got, sorry, we got a 26,000 coin platinum player. I think that was an 82 overall platinum card. All right, so we made a ton of coins and you can put all your 84, 83s, 84s, 85s, 86s into that team of the week set or the ultimate legend set. And same thing with the 80s to 83s. The next tip in this video is gonna be investment tips. When should you be buying cards? When should you be selling cards? All right, and when you should be investing. So here's a little pro tip for you. Right now, at the time of recording, it is Wednesday, April the 5th. So we know that the Sugar Rush slash Easter program is dropping on Friday. So I am already prepared and I bought a quite a bit of training. You can see my, my binder is full of training. I invest a lot of coins into training because there will be a new training reroll and I expect the prices to rise on Friday. So I can always sell these cards when it comes out. For example, I was buying the 95 for about 60 to 65,000. They have already gone up to about 75,000. I expect these to hit close to 100,000 coins each. There are also days when you should be definitely be buying cards and then there's days that you should definitely be selling cards. So at the moment with the type of schedule that we're on right now in Madden, it's always a really good time to buy 
players on Thursday with the LTD drops, Saturdays with the Ultimate Legend drop, okay, and potentially Friday with any new program sometimes, okay, depending on the program and how the market looks. But for sure, Thursdays and Saturdays are great days to purchase cards for cheap, and then you can sell on days like Monday, days like Sunday evening, Tuesday, Wednesday with the wild card Wednesday players in game. People need training and people need, no one's really opening packs and stuff like that on those days, so the market goes up. So at the time of recording, the market is currently up right now because not a lot of people are buying packs, not a lot of things going on in Madden, so the price of things are going up in anticipation of the next program on Friday with the Sugar Rush. So it's right now, it would be a bad idea for me to buy any cards leading up to that, all right? My, my time of, to buy cards was on Saturday when everything was really, really cheap. The next big tip in this video is going to be about free players, all right? The, me the main thing is you want to have coins in order to make coins. So if you can ever get free players from doing some solos, from doing some house rules, definitely take advantage because without spending money on certain players that you get for free, you save coins, which in, in the end really means that you're making coins because you have those coins to spend elsewhere and to make more coins that way. So for example, if you've kept up with your Ultimate Legend Souls, I have not, I need to start catching up, but you will be able to get a free Ultimate Legend player this next Saturday that um, at the time of recording this video. So on Saturday, everyone's gonna get their free Ultimate Legend player. And at that point, you got a nice 897 or 98 overall card to add to your team for free. And the same thing goes for any other program that we have in game. Like with the Blackyard Ballers, you can get some free cards there. Free Agency, there was some, some options to get some free cards. As you can see here, a 95 overall and cap free agency pack. Lots of items you can get for free here that you can put on your team even as backups, but it means that you don't have to spend coins on those players in turn makes you have extra coins to spend elsewhere. This next tip is going to be probably the hardest for most of you and it's going to be to avoid spending coins on packs in the game, all right? This is a huge issue that a lot of people have where they go ahead and they will go and every time they get coins, they will go ahead and spend it on the game changer packs, the ultimate legend packs and all those. And then they get, they open them and they like, well, I got nothing. I got like pretty much no cards. I wasted a lot of coins. And honestly, you're right. The packs overall are bad. You need to have some good luck in order to get some great pulls. The only packs that I think you should be opening personally will be the pro fantasy packs, okay? And the get a player packs. Those are the only two packs you should be opening in order to at least have a chance at making coins. Get a player pack is always a W, but the Pro Fantasy Packs are also pretty solid. I have a couple of videos on the Pro Fantasy Packs if you want to go ahead and watch it. I'll link those down below, all right? But the main thing is save your coins. It is so much easier to make coins when you have coins. When you don't have a lot of coins, it is really hard to build up that coin stack. And the last thing I'll say about coin making in general here is I already said it, I already mentioned it earlier. If you have coins, it's easier to make coins. So if you can start off and you have a low coin stack, start off with those safe methods, build up the coin stack to a good amount, maybe like a million or so coins, 500,000 is also really solid. And then you can start using the bigger methods like the investing. Like I have three or four million coins ready to go with training in order to sell off later. So the more coins I have, the more coins I'll make on another promo day, okay? So always try to keep building your coin stack. I know it's tough. The more coins you have, the easier it is to keep building on top of that every single time. If you are struggling to make coins right now, I have a video that I went from zero coins to a million coins, all right, in just 10 hours. Go and check it out.